So Joey is having some lag problems and everything, and he doesn't know how Twitch works. Twitch lags, if there's a problem, it's because of Twitch. And putting the chat in sub-only mode or clearing the chat will not help the lag on the chat. I don't get why it's hard for me to push to turn this goddamn camera on for some reason. Good thing when I go out I use my other one, my new one. But it says, don't chat guys, um, us chatting, oh and by the way you can't turn off chat on Twitch like you can on YouTube. And second of all, us chatting and spamming chat has nothing to do with lag. I can't stand bitches who lie and say they didn't say something when they did. I was being nice on Twitch and I whispered to somebody, PM them, uh, telling them not to blame the streamer, which is Joey Kseffa, for the lag because it's not his fault, it's Twitch. You try having a server and having millions of people go live all at once. Yeah, it's going to lag. Get over it. Get used to it. Stop bitching and complaining about the lag. Putting it in sub mode is just going to piss your f the fans off. And making slow mo be four minutes so we have to wait to type every four minutes is kind of annoying. It makes fans pissed off and leave. And having closed caption on also can be annoying too. If they can't hear what is being said, then they can turn up their goddamn volume on their own goddamn computer. If they can't do that, then they've got issues. And they can also watch the video here on YouTube. It's free. And people bitching saying, Uh, I was looking forward to watching this Escape the Night Season 2. No, I can't. Yeah, you can't. You just won't have Joey talking during it. And also, having closed caption on isn't always a good thing, especially from YouTube, because closed captions are usually wrong on YouTube. So I had to switch over to this because I was annoyed. And now, people are in, have, and then, then, then Joey put, and, and another thing, I don't understand, Joey. Why do you need two different Discord servers for two different things? That's the reason why they make different rooms on one server on Discord. So you can make a room for that. So if, okay, you have one for Crystal Wolf, which, okay, don't know why. And then you have one for Escape the Night. Okay, I don't know why. When you could have just had one called Joey Kasefa. And then you could have each room with each different sections that say Escape the Night, Crystal Wolf, Wriggle Joey Stuff, Joey's Minecraft, you know, and so on and so forth. You don't need two different servers for that. Especially when you're spamming the same damn message on both of them for announcements. It's kind of annoying. Plus, I don't see the need, but that's just me. Hey yo, this video is called How Twitch Works Part 2. If you want to see the first part, I'll try and put it in the annotations at the end of this video if I can remember to. Uh, a lot of people don't know how lag works on Twitch and I thought I'd make this video for people that want to know, can know. But before I do that, I have a question for you. How, how can you, does anybody on YouTube, for the YouTube streaming, or commenting or whatever, how can you find out if you've been blocked from another YouTuber without knowing you've been blocked? Like, how does that work? Because I tried Googling it, and I'm not, I got an answer, but it don't make sense for my situation. What I did was I had two tabs open of the same streamer. I typed in one and I looked in the other one to see if my messages were showing up because I noticed every time he'd go live I would con I would give him a comment or a message in his chat stream chat and it would 
and he would never answer them. He would skip over them. And then I noticed also in the comments, after I watched his videos, I even mentioned it. This guy used to answer me back all the time when I would comment. I never started anything with him. I love his channel. I was never mean to him. I never said anything about the fight that was going on with this other YouTuber and him. And I was always nice to him and I always helped him out and I love his videos. I only asked him on Twitter about it. I haven't heard back from him because he doesn't do Twitter much. But whenever he does, he'll see it and maybe he answer it. If, if, if it's true that when you ban somebody, they can still comment on your shit and they can still chat in your chat room but nobody can see their messages, that's a kind of, that's kind of weird. I would want the person to know because I don't want to have this situation where my ex-friend would be like, I don't know why it does that. I don't know why I'm not seeing your mess. Maybe it's a Twitch. Maybe it's a YouTube error. I don't know. Moving on. That's not why you guys are here. I just wanted to throw that out there and ask. Who cares what I look like? That's not the point of this video. So let's get started. So how lag works on Twitch. Okay, when it Twitch is lagging, like it likes to do, don't yell at the streamer. Don't get mad at the streamer. Just kindly let them know, hey, I'm just letting you know Twitch is giving me the round thing on your videos so we're not hearing I don't know if anybody else is having that problem so I wanted to ask it, is anybody else having that problem if they say yes they're having that same problem then you know it's a twitch problem if other people say no I'm doing fine no it's fine for me no I, I, I can hear then you know it's your internet fix that is you either restart your internet or you restart your computer the stream or you push that little button that's down in the bottom I'm pretty sure it's bottom left but it says play and pause you click you click pause you wait a few seconds then you unclick it poof and you're up to date with what they're saying now even if Twitch is lagging, you can still do it that way. If it's on your phone, I don't know, because I know nothing about phones, because I don't use an iPhone. I have a flip phone, so yeah. So YouTube, when a stream is lagging, you can click the gear button, and you can check and see. Um, you can click the speed and put the speed on, too, and the speed will speed it up so fast it'll catch up and then there's no lag you have your quality at most computers and laptops can only handle 360 and what I hate is a bunch of you to like to do on twitch it's 720 or 1080 or whatever it is higher up and then they don't give you options to change it to lower if you have a device that can't handle the higher and that's kind of annoying and if that happens all you do is go in the chat you kindly look look at the you kindly ask the streamer hey could you restart your stream or and make it where we can have the quality to any quality that works for our devices because you have it set for only 720 and we can't change it it goes as low as 160 and if you have to go at 160 where it's pixelated and blurry as fuck then there is something wrong with your internet and your computer but if that's the only way you can hear them to do it that way then you have to do it that way um you hover your mouse over the over the video and then you see a little round thing that looks like a gear. That's where the setting is. You click on that and then that's where the quality is and stuff. And the same for YouTube as well. On Twitch, you can't put the chat in, uh, turn chat off. You can't. Not like you can on YouTube. And if you make it where you turn chat off, 
your fans are going to leave. They're not going to want to stick around and just watch you play a game or you stream and not get to say anything. And if you make it sub only mode, same thing as turning off chat. The the fans will get pissed off because then they'll think, oh, you're forcing us to sub just to talk to you. That's rude. I'm leaving. Chatting on the side does not make the lag or fix the lag. If nobody is chatting, it's not going to fix the lag. If you put it in sub only mode, not only are you pissing off your fans or the people chatting or your friends, but it's not going to fix lag. And clearing ch chat is only going to piss people off. And clearing chat is not going to do anything to the lag. Telling us to stop chatting is not going to fix lag. The chat in slow mode will help the chat from not going so fast. That way you can read chat. That's what slow mode is for. It's so that mods can do a lot of things on Twitch. Mods can clear the chat. Mods can ban and kick people. Which it's slow mode and for how many minutes. I think what we need for the mods to do is just kick and ban. That's all. Slow mode is they're putting it. You can chat every four minutes. Um, none of your fans, none of your friends, nobody is going to want to sit there and wait to chat. Wait to type every four minutes. That kind of gets annoying and they will be annoyed and that will upset them and they will just want to leave. So you don't want to do that and you don't want to make it for three minutes. You don't want to make it for two. One minute is fine, and 60 seconds is fine. And I do like how only people on this on Joey Casefa's discords, yes, he has two, don't know why, but I like how he only tells them on Discord when he is live on you, on Twitch. He has to do it that way because he has so many fans that if he says it on Instagram or like an Instagram story or if he says it on uh, Twitter or whatever he'll get way more people and then it'll be harder for him to read chat so I'm glad that he only does it for exclusive people that have a di have his discord and if others wants to know when he he's live they can either have it text to them or they can live on Twitch or have it emailed to them that's what I like how many minutes we have here okay I've I can only do 15 minute videos, which sucks, but yeah. So I hope that helps you out. And you, and you can also whisper people. It's like a PM, like a DM. And explain things to them better. If the chat's going so fast, they're confused. Or if they're saying something and you need to explain it more to them. That's what that's for. Also, don't lie to me. When I whisper you and tell you that's a Twitch problem, not a Joey problem. And then you tell me, oh, I never said it was a Joey problem. When actually you did. You're just trying to fix yourself because I told you the truth. Anyways, we're not going to talk into that stuff. But if you have any other questions on how Twitch works. And if you also do slash me and then type a message. You get a real cool color and, t and, and chat. But be careful on which streams you do it on because some people can get pissy with that which I don't understand why also be careful about giving your age on twitch because some people don't like that either especially when you're 13 and under because you're not allowed to have a twitch when you're 13 and under only when you're 13 and older you can have a twitch and if twitch finds out they will suspend your account Anyways, I'm going to get going, and I will talk to you people later. If you have any more questions, just comment down below, and I'll be happy to help you out. Here is my new outro. Wear a mask, save a life. Later, haters!